So in this Sims 4 build mode, if you make a basement and click page up, click this green line here and click remove ceiling and it makes a nice little hole in the floor. With that being said, today Shanice is inside my gaping hole and we're going to find out if Shanice can survive in my gaping hole. And of course, that is raining as soon as we start. Of course it is. Well, why don't you go play in the rain, Shanice? Oh no, she, she can't play in the rain. She can't get out. Technically, she's inside, not outside. If I click go here she can't go anywhere we've just got our hole to keep us company and in addition to that our money is set to zero so how do you make money from zero when there's literally nothing in your hole this is going to be very difficult i'm going to try and be clever here guys so if we add the volcanic activity lot trait i believe sometimes special meteorites can fall onto your lot and you can collect things from within them although i don't know if they fall into a hole we'll have to wait and see i've also got mods which means in order to access like the internet and things we need to actually pay for it so i'm adding a holiday celebration we're doing father winter to see if he comes i don't know if he can go in our hole i doubt he will but we'll soon find out we'll have the flower bunny come too and we have harvest fest with holiday no we get rid of harvest fest at the holiday gnome so if they appear on our lot we may be able to sell them so hopefully that will work we'll soon find out well the welcome wagon is here hello eliza pancakes and bob pancakes Oh my god, I could really do with that fruit cake right now. I could really do with your fruit cake. Please, 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 please leave it on the floor so we can pop it into our little hole. <laughs> I don't think he's going to drop the fruitcake on the floor, is he? We're not going to get the fruitcake, are we, at all? Maybe next time. Oh, no. Bob, give me the fruitcake, Bob. You're just going to stand there. Oh, no, he's going to eat it, isn't he? I don't think we're going to get the fruitcake. Well, we've got a plate. Can we sell the plate? We cannot sell the plate. That's a shame. At least I can drag it into a hole. We've got something to keep us company. Oh, Shanice is day struck by lightning. You're not having a very good time, are you, Shanice? And I feel like dragging and dropping things from the outside into our hole isn't cheating because like this is the sims like you're allowed to do it so i will look at the bright side go on then shanice look at the bright side of your situation also she like she looks so horrendous and we can't actually oh can we shower in the rain no we can't because technically we're indoors which is so funny and because it's raining nobody is barbecuing out here so we've got no food to steal looks like it's going to be a cold wet dark night shanice i'm terribly sorry and um is she about to piss herself i think she is about to piss herself. I mean, it's night time. Should we, should we change into our sleepwear? There we go, Shanice. I was going to say something a bit cleaner to wear, but she still doesn't look very clean. I mean, you could just take your clothes off, then you won't be getting your clothes dirty. And I'm, um, oh, look, a little rock dropped near our house. Yes, I am dragging and dropping it in. I feel like that is not cheating. No, it's not. So what did we get? A cricket coup. That's our first 140 simoleons. Well done, Shanice. Is that enough to afford like a mini fridge? Nope. <laughs> looks like we're not eating Shanice. And um, it looks like Shanice just wet herself on the floor. Oh, no. Nope. Now she's been struck by lightning. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shanice. We really did pick the worst day, didn't we? Oh, on a happy note, there's some stinky food here. Oh no, we can't grab it. No, guys, because somebody else made it. <laughs> We can't grab it. So that's that idea gone out the window. Well, at least it stopped raining, Shanice. Look on the bright side. We can afford a plant pot and some start vegetables and another plant pot. I mean, we could eat one or two of the mushrooms to raise our hunger. There we go. Eating these mushrooms is raising our hunger. That's good. So we won't be dying today. We can grow some more mushrooms here in our little plant pots. Isn't that really lovely, Shanice? Check you out doing gardening in your little gaping hole. So we are running out of food fast, so I've got to keep it at bay. And um, oh look, we've got an earthquake. Oh dear. Oh look at all these. <laughs> Look at all these. Oh no, these little meteorites. I wanted them to fall in our hole. And Shanice, oh my God, I think Shanice was passed out on the floor. These little red ants have come up. They're like, what's going on? So we've got these little balls on our lot, which is very pretty. If we go into build mode, can we grab these balls? I don't think we can. What if we click make decorative? There we go. We can click it and we can drag it down. Now it's decorative. Can we break it open? Oh my God, we can. This is how we do it. Okay, 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 okay. So we make the 
these ones decorative and um, once we've made them decorative this will allow us to pick them up in built mode and put them in our hole now we've got um oh no guys it looks like poo in our poo hole it literally looks like poo like popcorn poo when you're constipated so anyway constipation aside we are opening up all of this stuff oh look we got some earbuds earbuds might help resolve our fun needs oh look we got a diamond oh my god this is amazing basically we're gonna sell all of these gems because we're not gonna be able to do literally anything else with them wait is this sell all 98 simoleons is that all we'd get for them if that's all we're getting that's all we're getting can we afford to bed with that money we can i feel like we desperately need a bed like we literally need to raise our needs so that's absolutely perfect shanice get some sleep you've been awake for about 48 hours it's pretty horrendous your hygiene need can stay low it doesn't matter if you're stinky also guys i just realized our mushrooms these mushrooms are actually out of season so oh okay we've got some trash how lovely oh we can rummage through it shanice rummage through the trash what will you find did we find i think we found one simoleon i don't know anyway if we harvest a taro root instead because the taro roots these are actually in season right now so they should be harnessing some fruit very very soon which is good oh my god we found a houndstooth dye well we're going to be selling it for 10 simoleons that's good finding that from the trash isn't it Janice is crying because she's in pain she needs food no sleep we're running out of mushrooms Shanice you've got to ration them I'm afraid and when we can afford it we will get her a little bath she won't oh my god she won't even sleep right I don't know what you want to do Shanice she just okay she wet herself on the floor by her bed that's nice if we listen to music with the earbuds will that raise up there we go it's raising up her funny slightly Should we do some dancing Shanice or she she doesn't want to dance anyways today is officially Shanice day so hopefully soon we should see some holiday gnomes pop up oh look we got our first one hello there sir now if we appease the gnome i believe like we get certain things he liked that lovely oh he liked that as well so we've just got to give them random things as they pop up and then even after the holiday they still stay on the lot so look he's giving us because they like me they're giving me seasonal winter plants which is lovely we've got seasonal spring plants which is lovely so even though we may not be able to grow these right now we can eat them we basically just get loads of seed packets all throughout the day it's pretty op i mean we've got snapdragon flowers like i'm selling the flowers like we're literally not going to be using them the cheapest bath is 150 simoleons so that's what we really need because we are so stinky right now we've got a very low social need at a certain point we will be able to talk to our plants and oh look there's the flower bunny hello there what a shame he actually can't come oh no we can't come down <laughs> He can't come down. Although I think the flower bunny has left us some flowers on the floor. Okay, we're going to pop these down here. The little flowers he's left us. That's good. There we go. I think this holiday thing was a very smart idea. Getting all these seed packets, all these flowers. We're not getting any Easter eggs though. I thought he'd bring us Easter eggs, but oh well. Also, I'm just wondering if we can change it to a tiny home residential. If we make it like really, really small in here. If we literally make our hole a little bit less gaping maybe it will give us some kind of tiny home privileges that we wouldn't have had before which i think would really really help us out a lot actually so there we go we're literally a super tiny home now it is more cramped in here but we have some buffs including plants growing twice as fast and um oh guys our gnomes oh no the gnomes are escaping come back i mean already guys just from selling like all of this stuff we're making so much money you've got a thousand simoleons now we've literally got enough for a full-on bathtub which is amazing so Shanice why don't you take a nice little bath isn't this so lovely Shanice look at you in your hole now it's a wet hole and I guess now we can probably afford a lot more plant pots so we can plant a couple more things which is always good now I'm really grateful okay for the gnomes but before we go I would like to sell them before the end of the day before they disappear fully because that way we can afford a toilet which is fun we can get a proper toilet check us out there we go Shanice you can have a wee wee now we've got basically everything that we need although she still wants to cry and she's very sad <laughs> I wonder why Shanice is burning to death oh that's really lovely isn't it it's midnight and somehow you're burning to death now for some reason Shanice does actually know Bob and Eliza pancakes so oh no oh no guys we don't have a phone plan we, we didn't purchase a phone for fuck's sake <laughs> okay we need to upgrade our package so that's cost us 208 
simoleons, which is very expensive. I feel like we should send text messages and call to Bob and Eliza Pancakes so she can actually raise her social need for once, which I think is really good. So she will just be obsessively corning them over and over again as if that's not weird at all. Oh gosh, look at this big lemon tree. <laughs> Look at the lemon tree in my hole. So we are getting loads of seed packets today. This is a little bit insane. And oh, we've got some birds walking on our invisible ceiling. Lovely. <laughs> Pretend that's not happening. Now, do we have enough money now for a mini fridge? Yes, we do. This is perfect. So now we can afford to eat a little bit better. And by that, I mean, we're going to be having some canned juice. Check you out, Shanice. Is this an American thing, drinking juice from a can? That literally sounds vile. Um, oh gosh, we need a bin, don't we? We need a bin. There we go. We can throw all of our trash into our little bin right over here. I would also like to expand our whole bigger to kind of like what it was before again, although it is costing us a lot of money. Look, we've only got 250 smolines left. Okay, I feel like we're gonna have to be a little bit careful with this. But at the least, I think we can get some more gardening pots. So that'd be good. And we can basically fill all of our needs now because we have the earbuds too. We can just listen to some music and we can do a bit of dancing. So that'll raise our fun need. Oh, we've got a phone now. I think you can play games on the phone can't you? Also our, oh look, our gnomes escaped and they've left the seed packets up here. I completely forgot they existed. We've also got some flowers from the flower bunny all just scattered around the house. This is a very good way to make money from zero if you're stuck in a hole. Bills have just been delivered to your mailbox. You owe 140. Well, we better get that sorted. At least we can actually afford to pay them off now. And guys, the two gnomes from yesterday who are leaving seed packets, they're still here, but we've also got two more for the brand new Harvest Fest day. So we can appease these gnomes and um, oh no, he doesn't like what I've given him. Oh dear. Plead for forgiveness. Please, please, please. Oh no, oh no, we've been electrocuted and we've got trash. So that just happened. Clearly he doesn't like us very much. We plead again. There we go. He likes me now. And it seems like the gnomes from the previous day, you can still appease them. So you've got double the gnomes, which means double the amount of seed packets. Oh, and we can finally harvest some things. I'm just going to sell every single thing that we get because we really, really need all of the money. Also, our bin is like not big enough. What we need is a main outside bin, but obviously we can't, we can't really get them because it just wouldn't work unless we get a trash chute. Can we put our rubbish into the trash chute? Will that actually work? There we go. We can. That's good. Out of sight, out of mind. That means we can sell our normal bin, I guess. That's actually really, really useful. Thank you very much. The flower bunny is supposed to be here, but he seems to be walking away. He's done with Shanice and her little hole. <laughs> now we've got just under 900 simoleons. What I like is something that we can do, which could help us earn just a little bit of money. We could get the flower arranging table because we're literally getting flowers for free from the flower bunny in the seed packets. Although ironically, I've just sold them all. <laughs> so we've got none. But with all of these, we can basically craft flower bouquets for free and then sell them. Or even though they may not all be free, it seems like some might be slightly cheaper. So it looks like our life is slightly worth living now, Shanice. Congratulations, you got a purpose in life. I don't know what the flower bunny is still doing here late at night. What do you think you're doing here, sir? And oh look, we can make these for free. Purple parallel. That is lovely. That means we can sell it for a lot of money. 152 simoleons. Also, love how Father Winter has turned up in a summer outfit. <laughs> I don't know why he's turned up and why is his name Rory Grossman and why you dress like that, sir? You do not look like Father Winter should do right now. What's going on? We've just got a call from the flower bunny. I'm going to ask you something important. Okay, so here it is. Is cereal soup? No, it's not soup. Sounds like you didn't check the Simpedia article. I don't get you. You're very, very strange, flower bunny. I don't think we need to be friends anymore. Also, our fun need is becoming a little bit of a problem because it's decaying so much. So we have just under 2,000 simoleons. I want to make our room very slightly 
slightly bigger. That way we could fit something fun in here to do. Now we do have utilities now. I'm thinking, can we afford a cheap PC? I mean, the cheapest one is 800 simoleons. We could get this cheap crappy desk, get this PC here, get a tiny little chair. There we go. We can afford a computer now. Oh, we can't use it. Electronics don't work in the rain. I excuse me. Oh no, my bad. I forgot to expand our roof. <laughs> that could be why it's raining inside. Although it seems like, oh no guys, this is really annoying. Firstly, this lag in the Sims 4 is very annoying. It seems like we've literally got like a gap. Are we going to have to make this like ridiculously oversized because of the gap? That is so annoying and immersion breaking, but there we go. Roofs don't work very well in the Sims 4 and everything is lagging. Now we can play video games. Oh, this is really good guys. This opens up our money making possibilities, our funny possibilities, everything. It can make it so much easier now. And you know, like Father Winter, he's still here. Like he's just glitching. He's glitching around. I don't know how to get rid of him. And um, oh, look, there's an earthquake. <laughs> Janice, I don't know what she's doing. She's eating a pear like nothing's going on. Well, at least we got some nice little boulders that we can take and make more money from now. And oh, look at that. We got a jet. A gemstone. That's nice. I'm going to be selling that one. Anyways, Mr. Father Winter, you are, I feel like you're just glitching up my lot and like you're pissing me off. Maybe with NC Command Center, we can get rid of you. I feel like we need to delete him, but it might accidentally corrupt our save because it's Father Winter. So, oh well, we'll soon find out. And now we've got all of our eggs, which is really exciting. We've got a plumbobus. Right, Shanice, it's time to break your kidney stones open. Let's see what we've got in there. Hopefully we found a lot of very nice stuff. Lots of gems, it seems. So we've made just under 500 smoleons off that. It's whatever, okay? It's whatever. Also, I mean, I feel like we're at the point now where we may as well start investing into an actual kitchen. Oh, and some lights, okay? It's very, very dark. I guess we can only have a floor lamp though. And then all we need is a countertop. We've already got a fridge. We can have a cheap little oven. And then all we need now is to have a sink, which I'll just pop here like this. Now we've got a functional kitchen. So we can batch cook something that's very, very cheap. Party size serving of grilled cheese. Pop that in a fridge. Boom, we've got our food sorted. I guess that means I could literally sell all of the fruit that we've got on our inventory now because we don't really need it anymore. We get quite a bit of money from that too. Now on our PC, okay, I'm thinking that we write a book because then we can get royalties from the book gradually over time. And now we've done our first book in the mailbox, we can self publish it. And then we'll make some royalties as we go along. I've self published a couple of books now. So we are making just like a little bit of passive income here. It's just a nice thing that we can do whilst we also continue making some active income from actually making flower bouquets and then selling them. Although I will be honest with you, I haven't bothered to set up another Shanice day with the holiday gnomes for like a few in game days because I just can't be bothered. But we still have a few flowers hours in our inventory. Oh, have a sim do nothing social for 24 hours achievement. I feel like we should have achieved that a very long time ago. I don't know why we've only just achieved that now. Also, I just realized we didn't even need our trash heap because right here, we literally have a bin that we, oh, what am I doing? I almost set that as my head. I should not have done that. We literally have a bin here. Also, you know, guys on the subject, okay, of things we should have done a long time ago. I feel like it's time now we do a little renovation. So maybe we could get some some nice little wooden planks. I kind of want it to be eventually modern, <laughs> just a little bit more modern in our little, I don't even know what you would call this, in our hole, in our gaping hole. So by adding some flooring and walls, we can start to make it feel a little bit nicer. I would also like to make our hole a little bit bigger if we can afford it. Okay, I think we can. So ideally, okay, I would like to set up our bedroom. Oh gosh, we've got, we've got no money left. <laughs> that was my bad. I just, okay, I just feel like it's going to look really, really nice. Why are all these archways so expensive for Christ's sake? Nothing is ever cheap in this game. We can have our little bed here. We can have our desk in our bedroom. We'll still keep flower arranging here. Then we've got enough room here for a little bit of a nicer kitchen. We can also get some wall lights as well for our house now. Isn't this so much better? Oh my God, I love it already. Yes, I do. Though I'd still like to keep the dirt just in this like little bit here so we can keep all of our plants and our bathtub in the dirty area. Oh guys, I love it. It's so cute. So before we, oh, 
What's what's happening? There's a fire. There's a fire. Oh my god, where's where's the fire? What on earth is setting on fire? <gasps> my god, my garden's on fire. Oh god, no guys, the garden's on fire. I was just about to say we've made it to autumn. <laughs> And our garden's on. Oh no. Oh no. Everything's setting on fire in our garden. What's going on? Is our little hole setting on fire? Or is it just the roof? <laughs> It's just the roof, luckily. Oh my, all of this grass in my garden seems to be singeing, which is lovely, isn't it? <laughs> oh wow, at least we got a nice new kidney stone. Oh, for, for Christ's sake, I can't even go into build mode or anything because we've got this fire on our lot, but whatever. And um, oh dear, look, there's another earthquake. <laughs> Two in a row. Absolutely love that for you, Shanice. It, it's autumn. Why is it snowing? What is going on? <laughs> What the hell is going on? Everything's glitching. Oh, and it looks like in all of that, our mini fridge broke. That's absolutely lovely. Our plants are also like dying because I am not gonna lie. Like I've just been neglecting them because they weren't really earning us that much money anyway. So I just haven't really thought about them. I'm sorry. Oh no, our, our lemon tree. Oh my God, our lemon tree is dead. Oh no, we have to dispose of it. I really haven't been taking care of you, have I? Well, whoopsie daisy. That was my bad. Well, at least we're making 700 smoleons from everything that happened. I mean, from everything that we've been doing over the past few days, which is just doing lots of bouquets, basically, and book royalties, we now have just over 10,000 simoleons. So I feel like it's time for a renovation. Now, I think it would be nice to change the walls of my gaping hole into a gaping square, because that way we could roof it a lot better. And it gives us a little bit more flexibility in terms of what we can do with it. So now we can always get a little square roof. I say little, this is absolutely humongous and turn it kind of into like a dome. And now we've made like a little cute little dome roof for our house. I love that. I just need to cheat away this grass. So I'm actually going to delete all of our bedroom furniture and I'm going to give us a nice little renovation up in here. I actually wouldn't mind using the modern Lux kit. We could make a cute little chavy modern bedroom. I think that would look really nice. No, guys. Guys, I really love it. Like we're just using this this kit <laughs> to make our bedroom look really cozy and sweet, and it's working. I'm just changing the floor planks, like just by using some stuff in this kit, just to quickly make a nice little room. Tell me right now, this isn't literally like so much better already. Oh my god, I absolutely love it, guys. I'm even gonna use marbled flooring. Look at how fancy that is. Oh my God, we still got 4,000 simoleons left. We may as well do our kitchen up nicely too, and make it a bit more modern. So I'm thinking a big open archway leading into the kitchen. Can we afford parenthood counters? I hope we can. We'll soon find out if I'm pushing or not. I just really want our house to look really nice. I mean, can't exactly afford a nice cooker. I feel like we're fine for money. I mean, we've literally spent like all the budget. Oops. If we could just get a nice little dining table. I know I'm going to have to be really cheap with this table and that's completely fine. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting two chairs. She's literally, Shanice, you're literally here alone. You can have one chair for your little table. I'll give you some flowers though. I won't be too mean. Another potted plant here. That looks really cute. Now guys, I'm, I'm selling all the plants. I'm sorry it's not working. I'm just not. Okay. It was fun while it lasted. I'm just not bothering to look after them anymore. We're just not achieving anything with it. So I'm getting rid of them. All I I would like to have now is an actual proper bathroom. Now, I feel like we're going to have to keep this horrible toilet. Can we afford a bath shower combo? Yes, we can. We can afford this one from the base game. We can afford a small sink and we can get a mirror. So congratulations, Shanice. You're moving up in the world. We only have 99 simoleons left. So what that means is we've got to do a bit more work. Oh no, I deleted our PC. Oh no, guys, I deleted the PC. Can we sell the books? from our bookshelf. We're getting one simoleon each from them. <laughs> I think I need to make my money back in some way now because we need a brand new PC. Okay, well that just means we got a lot of flower arranging to do. Or oh, okay, I guess I could I guess I could sell the microwave. We don't need the microwave. Do we need the mirror in the bedroom? I guess we don't. Do we need the bookshelf? I guess we don't. Okay, now we can afford it. Oh no, we can't even place the PC on this bloody thing. This is a vanity table, not a proper desk. So, oh for Christ's sake. I feel bad for Shanice because I've given her like a taste of something nice and we've just 
gotten rid of it all. I'm sorry, Shanice, but we need to be writing more books. Although for some reason, the bed is in the way of everything. Apparently she can't scoot past the bed with the way it's positioned. That's a little bit annoying. And basically ruin the entire room. I've got no, I, I don't want the bed there. All of this so Shanice can actually reach where she needs to reach. She just needs to reach. Okay, the desk, the desk is going in the main room. There we go. Because we are actually, I think we're writing level six or seven now. So we can actually write some more books. We can also start sending books to publishers. So I'm assuming we can earn more royalties that way. Also, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but all of these Sims just keep like piling up and walking up and down here. Like it's nobody's business. Like, I don't know what the hell is going on right now. <laughs> This is all a bit strange. Oh, look, we've got a new Father Winter in his summery outfit <laughs> after we deleted the other one. But no, guys, I've got all these Sims turning up. I think it's safe to say my save file is broken and all these people are just standing here and passing out. Like, it's very strange. They must just be in awe of my underground house. So, guys, we are almost in the winter period now. That's why Shanice is in her wintry outfit with her pink Moschino heels. I've been making most of our money from the gardening itself it feels like the book writing like it, it's it's not making that much money unless you seem to write like loads and loads and loads of books we've made around 15,000 simoleons so far which i think is really great that's only over like a couple of in-game months it's almost winter now i believe we started in summer so that's one two months so seeming that we've got a little bit of money left over the first thing i want to do is actually place an apartment mailbox which we should have done before because you can actually place is properly inside your home. I would also like to build us up just a nice little living room space if we can fit one in preferably. So it's almost 3,000 simoleons but we can get a nice little wall TV. We don't need like I feel like we don't need like loads of room for our living room because it literally is just Shanice by herself like it's literally just her so I feel like she wouldn't be mad if she didn't have a big three-seater sofa. Okay. Yes I do want the main living room to be carpeted as well. Maybe a tiny bit more colour. By colour, I mean beige. You could probably afford another bookshelf, just like this one here. I mean, we could have some more activities, guys. Like, we can have a little art easel in the corner, maybe. Shanice could learn to play the guitar. I don't feel like I like this sofa. It was not really a vibe. Maybe this one instead. It's a little bit more plush. There we go. Also, I want to get us a thermostat as well. A little space heater here. Could we fit a heater in the bed? bedroom maybe tucked in this corner so we can heat the house up so we're not gonna freeze to death in winter we could have a video games console I think we can even afford to have a much nicer bathroom Shanice says no point in uh, fixing that sink anymore it's gone I'm sorry I mean we could get the electric toilet we can literally afford it I feel like we can get a lot of nicer things for our little house so the goal for today was to try and work out can a sim survive living in a deep dark hole underground and based on everything that's happened I feel like yes we can have our sim survive in a hole like I'm already thinking to myself now like we could build like another basement underneath and do like stairs going down like we could do it really nicely but I won't so can a sim survive in a little hole underground yes they can you might also be wondering can a sim survive while stranded on an island so if you haven't seen that video already then and make sure to check that video out. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this one. I will see you in the next one.